Did you know that there are at least 115 records of silent Sherlock Holmes films made prior to 1913? That's pretty impressive. But Holmes is not who we're here to talk about today. For plenty of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's other literary creations made it to the silent silver screen too. Which is why today, we're going to take a look at what else from Doyle's works got the silent treatment. First up in 1913 comes The House of Temperley, starring Charles Maud as Captain Jack Temperley. Produced by London Film Productions, the film is an adaptation of Rodney Stone, a gothic mystery and boxing novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. 1915 saw two of Doyle's better-known non-Holmes work adapted. Firstly, Brigadier Gerard by The Barker Company, which starred Lewis Waller as the title character, Madge Titheridge as the Countess, and A. E. George as Napoleon. The casting of Waller was considered quite a coup at the time, as he was considered a major dramatic player of the stage. Sadly, this was not the start of a long-running film career, though, as he would die shortly after filming concluded. For those unfamiliar, the Brigadier Tales are a series of comedic short stories. They lampoon the English view of the French, with Gerard frequently being baffled by the attitudes and mannerisms of the British. Our other 1915 film was The Firm of Girdlestone, an adaptation of Doyle's 1890 novel of the same name. It starred Edna Flugrath as Kate Horston, Fred Groves as Ezra Girdlestone, and Charles Rock as John Girdlestone. The film sees an old merchant trying to save his firm by attempting to kill his ward. But, as popular as Doyle was, his name was not enough to save this from scathing reviews. For as one 1916 issue of Motography magazine put it, As poor as an offer as I have had. Drawn out cheap melodrama and old stuff, this picture has nowhere near the vitagraph standard of pictures. The direction is poor, the work of the stars, Charles Grock and Edna Filgroth, is poor. The story is good, but not followed very well by the director. In 1916, the Fine Arts Company produced The Flying Torpedo, an adaptation of Doyle's novel Dixon Torpedo. It starred John Emerson as Winthrop Clavering, a chemist, detective, and novelist. In 1920, Screenplays, a UK-based film company, attempted a remake of 1913's House of Temperley. Yes, even back then, it seems film bosses were obsessed with safe bet IPs, though they did opt for a different title, simply calling this one Rodney Stone. The plot, however, is largely the same. Rodney, a blacksmith's boy, becomes a boxer, who is then revealed as the son of a peer blamed for killing a card sharper. The film starred Rex Davis as Boy Jim and Robertson Brain as Rodney Stone. 1921 brought us the French film Un Drame Sous Napoleon, an adaptation of Doyle's novel Uncle Bernard, A Memory of the Empire. Emile Drain starred as Napoleon, with Rex Davis as Louis de Laval. Also in 1921, The Croxley Master. Dick Webb played Robert Montgomery with production company Screenplays at the helm. Based on a short story by Conan Doyle, it sees a young Welsh medical student enter the boxing ring to fight for a 200-pound prize. 
Fires of Fate was a 1923 adaptation of Doyle's tale, The Tragedy of Corsco, and was produced by Garment Films. It starred Wanda Horley as Doreen Adams and Nigel Barry as Colonel Edgington. Set in 1895, the film sees a group of European holidaymakers take a trip to Egypt, but once there, it is far from a relaxing experience as they get kidnapped by a band of dervish warriors. By 1925, spiritualism, which was preached as gospel by Doyle, had taken a toll on his reputation in certain circles. A Harry Houdini quote from an article in Variety magazine demonstrates this rather concisely, with Houdini condemning his one-time close friend as... He is a menace to mankind, because the public thinks that he is just a great a man in the spiritualist field as he is in writing stories. Yet, despite some thinking that he was out of his mind, it did little to deter filmmakers from wanting to adapt his work, with 1925 bringing us two further productions one of which even had a supernatural tint. The first of these was Recipity Films' How It Happened, Twisted Tales, an adaptation of the tale How It Happened. It starred Sidney Seward as the motorist who succumbs to a fatal car crash, but finds joy and peace in discovering life after death. The Lost World Part of the Professor Challenger series is arguably Conan Doyle's best-known non-Holmes work. That is not to say everyone will have heard of it, but they probably will know of Jurassic Park, a book and film that had some of the basis in Doyle's tale. Indeed, the second film even took that title. But long before Jeff Goldblum and company were running from raptors, we had this 1925 silent offering. It starred Wallace Beerley as Professor Challenger and Lewis Stone as Sir John Roxton. Similar to the Spielberg sequel 72 years later, chaos ensues when a captured dinosaur breaks out and starts wreaking havoc across the city. By this point, talkies were largely on the rise, and silent offerings across the board would start to subside. But we still have one more from this era to talk about. 1927's The Fighting Eagle. The film, by DeMille Pictures, was another adaptation of the exploits of Brigadier Gerard, but this time with Rod LaRock as Gerard, Max Barwin as Napoleon, and Sam DeGrasse as Talleran. From there, things would become, no pun intended, quiet. Film companies were no longer interested in making silent, non-Holmes-related Doyle movies. The odd talkie film or TV series, largely based on the Challenger series, would emerge over the years. But Holmes was the hotter property by far for public and production companies alike. However, fast forward to 2020, and the creator of this very series, Ross K. Fode, would put out a film series entitled All Quiet on the Holmes Front, a series of silent films that were largely based around Sherlock Holmes, but with the occasional offering from Doyle's other works. Stories covered included Selecting a Ghost, The Disintegration Machine, The New Catacomb, and The Terror of Blue John Gap. The series would also cover Out of the Running and One Crowded Hour, but reimagined as Sherlock Holmes Mysteries.
But will a big production company ever again make a non-Holmes-related Silent Doyle tale? While it seems extremely unlikely at this point, one should never say never. Especially not if it's a silent film.